Hi everyone, this is Emily and this is my channel End Vlogs Life. If you're new here, hi, and if you're coming back, thanks for coming back. It's been a few months, I think, since the last video I put up. I think that was the 9 to 12 months video. Um, but yeah, I'm back today. Um, I've got a little glass of water, I'm not going to lie really fancied a glass of wine um but it's not happening tonight um it's such a lovely day um it's currently um 20 past seven i think um and it's so sunny it's so lovely carl's at the gym baby's asleep she's been asleep since about 10 to 7 and i've got her just here currently upside down back to front yeah but flat out because i think her teeth are really hurting her today so she was absolutely wiped out after her dinner and bath. So I'm just chilling in my little snug room, looking out to the garden, and it's such a lovely evening. I thought I'd just do a little Q&A. Um, I asked on Instagram just any questions about the first year of motherhood because Naya is turning one on Friday, which is insane. Um, it's so nice that I've done this channel, you know, because now I can look back at our little journey. And I think she was eight weeks in the first video I did. So it's just, oh, just the fastest year of your life. When they say it goes fast, it literally goes insanely fast. Obviously, it's our birthday Friday and we're going to take her to the zoo for the first time, which I'm so excited for. Um, so that's like our little family trip on the Friday. And then over the weekend, we've just got people popping in. So I've got these little cupcake toppers, got like a few sage green banners and balloons and things like that. I'm going to put a few photos on the wall and just look at this. <laughs> Little grumpy face, but that's the first picture we took when we were going to bring her home from hospital. Just, she looks so different now, it's hilarious, but it's so cute. And I've got this little um, Tinkerbell dress to put her in. I'm obsessed with Tinkerbell, it's just always been my favourite character, Disney. Um, so I've seen that in Primark and I just had to get it. But now I'm thinking with this weather we've been having, it's been so hot and lovely. I hope it's been lovely where you live because we have really had it lucky this week. Um, I think it's going to be quite warm over the weekend. So I don't know, don't think she'll last very long in that. Probably be in short, shorts and t-shirts. Because we've also got our little paddling pool um, and a few little garden things. So I'm really, really excited for a little birthday. Just thought I'd do a little Q&A. It's, it's just my experience, like what I always say on these videos. Um, you don't have to follow any of my advice. Uh, it's just me babbling on about being a new parent and see whether you can relate or whether I do say anything that makes sense. So I'll read you some of the questions that I've got on Instagram. I've got these written down because I'm filming on my phone and the screenshots are on my phone. The first question I've got was, what's been your favourite stage uh, so far? So like newborn, weaning, crawling, etc. Oh, there's been so many lovely little moments each month, but um, I loved it when she was just starting to acknowledge us and smile for the first time. So I'm going to say around three months. still remember the exact moment I was changing her nappy in, in her bedroom and I was just babbling and singing to her and um, I started filming it and she just gave me this cutest gummy little smile and I just burst into tears straight away. <laughs> so um, when she started to smile, I think, I just absolutely loved that stage. I love her right now where she's just starting to figure things out. Um, she's clapping and waving and just watching her, like, I feel like I'm a bit obsessed. Like, I don't know whether other mums are the same, but I just sit and stare at her and watch her figure out things and just, like, playing with her hands. Yeah, as I say, she's clapping loads at the moment and she's actually, like, picking it up in songs, like nursery rhymes and things. She's picking up when to clap. The stage is really, really cute, apart from the crawling. Oh, I don't, I don't want to rush things to get her to walking, but crawling, she is like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> you turn your back and she's at the other side of the room and she flips like upside down when you're trying to change your nappy. So this stage is a bit of a challenge with where is that concerned, but oh, just every stage has brought something lovely. Next question is, do you have or try a certain parenting style, e.g. gentle, strict, um, Montessori? Uh, I had to actually look up that because um, I didn't know what that meant, but I like that question. I think I'm a bit of a mix of both, I think, because like at the moment she is so little that 
you can't shout at her for doing things but she is definitely going to be a little handful you know i can just see because like uh, our fireplace at the moment obviously it's not on at all um but it's got coal and uh, we haven't got a fire guard at the moment and she knows that she shouldn't be crawling to it and she does this little smile and smirk and just crawls really slowly no. towards it <laughs> and she just you try and say no in like an authority voice and she just laughs and i just know she's going to be a little devil I and mean, i think i did when i was pregnant i did look up like gentle parenting and i love the idea of it and i think i'm a bit of a mix of both i think me and carl are a good little tag team with her to be honest but at the moment i'm just kind of going with the flow i love trying to get her to like be quite independent i like her to explore like i'm, I'm just go off and try and do things herself like if i'm in the garden i just let her kind of have a bit of an explore and um, if she's fell over a few times i've kind of just been like right let's get back up blah, blah, blah. like i'm trying to be that type of person that just doesn't get too over dramatic because I mean, I was a bit of a wuss when I was little, so I'm a bit of a whinger, so I don't really want her to be the same. Um, but at the same time, you know, I want her to be sensitive at the same time. So it's funny, isn't it? It's like, I don't know, I think I've just got into my own little rhythm at the moment, but I think Carl might be the more strict one when she gets older, but we'll see. Oh, it's so lovely sitting here. It's just so sunny right now. It does make me want to be in a beer garden, though, I'm not going to lie. I actually got this question twice. What's my favourite thing about being a mum? Um, so many things. I think I just love that she's like seeing everything new for the first time. So we're getting to do things that might seem quite ordinary, but to her, she's just like loving every minute of it, like going to the park. I love planning days out now. Obviously I did already, but I just love thinking at the weekend, like, right, where can we take her that she's going to see something new, um, going to explore, going to have an adventure. And like I just I just love that part of seeing her enjoy life basically. Uh, tea times where we all just sit and eat together. Uh, oh, there's just so many things. Just it's amazing, isn't it? So next, they've been quite lovely questions at the moment, but I just got in the in the box on Instagram. Give us a bit of reality. So basically, it's bloody hard <laughs> being a mum. Um, it just really is. You're changing nappies all day, every day. Um, you've got to be on the ball. You've got to be switched on. And you've got to entertain 24-7. It is the hardest job you ever do. And it is a job. It's 100% worth it. Don't get me wrong. But it is so hard. And to be honest, like, the sleep, you've just got used to it now. Like, I get up most mornings now. Well, I say get up. I stay in bed, but I'm awake <laughs> at um, half five. Um, and then I try and get back to sleep for a bit while Carl's getting up ready for work. Um, but that's just life now. That's just, we've got to get up early. Naya knows when she wants to get up. And um, yeah, it's just, it is hard. But um, reality is, your life changes. That's how it is. But if you want kids, that's just what you've got to put up with, if I'm afraid. But um, yeah. There's your reality check. It's bloody hard. <laughs> Next is, um, do I find anything hard that I didn't anticipate? Um, I suppose it is that, it, again, I'm going to say it again, it's the entertaining, I think, that, like, obviously, if you are stuck in the house summer, it's a lot better because you can get out and about. But those dreary days where you're just stuck in the house, you're obviously at an age where you can't really take into soft play and things like that. It, it's the entertaining 24 7 like i found that quite difficult and you can't like you can't go off in your room and go and sit on your bed and scroll through blooming tiktok all day <laughs> sometimes you want to just hide away like especially if they're, they're not in the mood as well i've wanted her to be like sitting and watching a disney film with me at this point and obviously they're too young and like their attention span and obviously you don't want them in front of the telly all day and, but when you're feeling a bit rough and things like that and you just want to sit and do nothing, you, you can't do that. <laughs> so I think that aspect I found quite hard. Um, yeah, I suppose it's that. Next one is, am I emotional or happy that Naya is turning one? Oh my God, 100% emotional. Like, I've been emotional for the last six months. <laughs> um, I just can't stop looking at her baby pictures. Like, I've gone right through all the videos from the very beginning and just I, I start crying <laughs> can't wait for what the future holds for other years like obviously if she starts to get bigger and more like involved with things but I don't know it's just I think it's more the reality that you've you've lost that baby side of her now 
and um yeah it's just and it's so so fast and i'm just scared that the rest of the years are just gonna zoom away with us now other than that it, it's just been lovely to like see her this first year and i'm just so excited for everything now part of this q a i kind of just said ask me anything about anything basically the first year or about me or food or whatever um so i've got a few questions that are a bit more aimed at me so see see what i can answer for these ones this one is where do i see myself in 10 years time it's quite hard really but um now you will i don't even want to don't even want to speak about that age if i'm still in this house i definitely want to be like it all renovated and things uh, we've just kind of put up with how it is at the moment but i'd love to be doing a lot more to the house if we're still here um and like content here maybe another baby i don't know um i've said either way i'm happy with if naya's gonna be an only child like me or we have another baby that would be lovely so hopefully me and carl are lovely and content as well like don't divorce me okay i mean job wise and stuff it's really difficult because i've, I've got such a like creative bubble in my head with things that i think i want to do in my life and stuff so i just don't know where i would be in 10 years time but hopefully i'm doing something that makes me happy i'm thinking like would i go back to my photography and things like that because i used to do um, wedding photography and things like that go into something more foodie or um yeah i just i just don't know where my life will take me with job wise i just hope i'm content got a nice little family life and yeah that's about it really next one is what's my most embarrassing moment i mean there's probably absolutely tons over the years i'm clumsy i say the wrong things um so there's been loads all i can think of at the top of my head right now the girls will agree with me this is like the joke that comes out every year that we went out got drunk um was getting a taxi into town and i was that drunk that i actually put my concealer all over my mouth instead of my lip gloss and just was loving life didn't even think about it until we saw the photos <laughs> and then put concealer all over my face um but yeah that was a uh, i mean it's not that embarrassing really because it's just funny every time it gets brought up but um i mean i think i've had many like drunken embarrassing moments to be honest plenty of video evidence of me um my 30th we had like a garden party and i was already drunk before everyone got there and i was just dancing around and i kept asking alexa to play the same song over and over again not even realizing and um yeah i'm just yeah i'm a bit of a mess really <laughs> another one that i could probably speak about for absolute hours um what would be my dream starter main and dessert oh I mean, where do you even start? I mean, are we going cuisines here? Because I, I've got a starter main and dessert for everyone. Um, but right, let's have a little think. Now I'm just hungry. <laughs> I'm going to say, for starter, I'm obsessed with burrata at the moment. Oh my God. So I think like a big burrata with loads of like bread and like dippy things um, and just have a big stodgy cheese bread starter choose a starter over dessert any day but um yeah i'm gonna go for like cheese breads dips the lot it's gotta be pasta hasn't it i think some sort of pasta maybe some chorizo in there um like a nice tomatoey rich garlic pasta um probably more bread on the side carbs <laughs> and then dessert i don't know i always choose something that would probably have like fresh cream and like strawberries and things like that i choose that over chocolate and stuff like that love a cheesecake so let's say like fresh cream strawberries cheesecake done so i'm going to finish the little q a the last one that i did get is what would my advice be to new parents i'd probably be like annoying and say don't take any advice what i mean by that is you know your own child so i think you just know your instinct and things like that so i think obviously you want to get opinions god i like googled things to death at the beginning um, but in the end, you always go with what you think, I think. I th so that's probably my best advice. Um, and also to just take your time and enjoy things as well. Because as I said at the beginning, things go so fast. I just worry sometimes. that I'm like, oh, have we done everything we should have in this first year? Like a few things that I'm like, oh, well, should we have gone abroad so we can have a baby abroad and things like that. And like, I think you can just worry too much. And um, yeah, just take your time, enjoy it enjoy the little moment and yeah just like go with the roller coaster i guess <laughs> that's where i'm up to at the moment so hopefully i've got a little um 
highlights of things we've been up to the last couple of days we've had the best like as i say the weather just makes everything better doesn't it but the lead up to Naya's birthday has just been so special and we've just made loads of nice little memories just being a little family and yeah i just can't believe she's won how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to so it's just been so nice and thanks so much if you have watched some of my videos because it has felt like a little community sometimes you get messages on instagram and um i've made a few little friends and it's, it's just been so nice to just document everything and even if nobody's watching them i'm just happy that i've now got these videos to look back on so it's so nice and thank you for watching um i'm definitely definitely i said this last time doing a foodie video next um i'm thinking like meals for the family and toddler oh toddler thank you so much for if you did ask me a question take care and i'll catch you next time bye